Technology tools offer many ways for students to use accessible instructional materials. Here are some tips for helping students and teachers use technology to deliver accessible instructional materials. You know, here gives some scores, and he's got to have nothing less than 100%. You're doing good. Soil, water, and timber. Students need the opportunity to try a variety of technology tools to see which ones work best for them. You don't know what will happen with it. Yeah. We have to involve the students. Sometimes decisions are made for the student. We need to involve them, let them know what technology is available. Like a computer keypad. There are many ways to introduce new technology. Susan McCluskey works with the Volusia County Assistive Technology Team in Florida. We try to go in the classroom and model the use of the tools. You know, we might actually go in and do a piece of a lesson or team teach a part of a lesson with that teacher. Um, Students can also model or teach the teacher as a way to learn the material. The students love to teach it to the teacher. So a lot of times you can give the student the technology and as they're learning it, they'll also bring the staff right along with them. So it's kind of a, a team approach. Laura Lee Bailey also suggests that teachers find ways to motivate their students through the use of technology, such as downloading music they like to listen to or by using a favorite book. But we have to be careful not to have them learn the technology while we're grading them or scoring them on their educational instruction because that's kind of a, a double whammy at the same time and it's too much. That we need to find things that they enjoy, maybe outside, have them learn the strategies and then start incorporating their academics at that time. We often think, oh, well, kids have to operate the technology. We have to teach them how to turn it on and open a file and read a file or, or whatever those kinds of things are. But it's way more than operation. Learning to use accessible instructional materials effectively requires many skills. In addition to operational skills, students need to develop functional skills, strategic decision skills, and social skills to be able to use AIM successfully in the classroom. Let's begin with functional skills. Rivers provided water power to turn machinery. If we pick the technology to give them access to their curriculum, then they have to have good reading comprehension skills, or in some cases, listening comprehension skills. They have to have um, the ability to take that information and use it in some, some way that the curriculum requires. So those are the, the functional skills that we choose AIM to help with. Gail Bowser has worked with the Oregon Technology Access Project and is now an independent consultant. She says that students need strategic decision skills if accessible instructional materials is going to be an integral part of classrooms around the country. When do I use an audio file? When do I actually read the text out of a book, if I can do that? When do I use Braille instead of large print? And those are strategic decisions that we have to be able to teach kids how to make quickly and make without disrupting the classroom environment. Let me know when you find it, Josh. Same area. Social skills are also an important part of this process. How do I use my AIM in an integrated classroom environment where there are other kids who aren't going to be using the technology or who may be using different technology without being disruptive, with being polite to other students, those kinds of social skills. 